Okay, this is a flip through of a journal I made for a swap. It's going to Robin. And this is the first journal I made um, with the hardcover. This is actually an Amazon box. So, this is the, the cover. And on the cover here, we have a little uh, key. I call it purring, not growling, said Alice. But I don't want to go among mad people. This is a butterfly with <clears throat> um, German glitter glass on it. Some vintage lace and a little um, flower, crocheted flower with a button. And I'm going to uh, tie it with organza. This is wallpaper that I got. And a wax seal I made. And got a lot of little envelopes tucked in here. That's one of them round paper clips. And then this one just has journaling, uh, little journaling spots in it, uh, made to look like little folders. Making an Alice in Wonderland journal, you could really do a lot with it because it's so whimsical. And the story is well known. And this is more journaling spots in here. This is a, a triple um, tuck pocket here. And it's just little, uh, like, tag-looking things that um, you can journal in. There's a couple of them in here. And then this is vellum I printed on with washi tape on it. This is just a little folder um, with a bunch of little papers in it for journaling. Little rows here. This is from the uh, material that's on the spine. Uh, same little papers in here. Just a little envelope. I wanted to have a lot of journaling spots for the person that this is going to. And in case they want to add to it uh, embellishments or journals. Journaling. There's a lot of possibilities. And another, this is a little belly band, a little uh, die cut key I did, a little thing. This is just paper that I added in here. This is a little quad, quad fold thing. You can journal on that too. And I put a little rhinestone in there. Some more embellishments here. Another little tuck spot with this has just got uh, tickets in it. You can journal on them. Curiouser and curiouser. Little die cut I had. Little rabbit charm. And this is another little tuck spot here. A bow clip. And it's more of those cards with a gold doily.
And this is pages from Miranda's Alice in Wonderland. Some sequin material I had. A little um, embellishment here that I made. I, I think the journal came out really good. This is another a little flap here. It's a postcard you can journal on. A little cabochon. And this is tea. I put tea in these. And it's a clip with a charm on it. And this is some more journaling spots. Some more embellishments here. Tea. This is tea in here. And then this is a little bottle I made that says drink me to look like the little bottle Alice had. More vellum with the um, washi tape on it. More journaling paper in a little folder here. Coffee dyed paper and this is an embossed paper I had done. And then I glued it to a doily to journal for journaling. And this is a uh, writing board. I made this put it between the pages so you have a hard surface to write on. I think um, that's nice to have in there, especially if you're going to journal. Uh, another little thing here, and this is a bunch of um, embellishments I put in here in case uh, Robin wants to add to the journal. And I had seen this uh, bubble paper online uh, in Etsy, and I thought it really would go good with the Alice journal. Altogether, I have three different, um, well, four different um, digitals that I used. My porch prints is this one. Um, this I found online. I don't remember. More um, journaling spots, tags, different tags. I probably use a couple kits all together, like maybe five, because this was a separate kit by itself. Eat Me. Uh, another tuck spot, more uh, little cards to journal on, a postcard that you could journal on, and this is a um, canceled check from 1947 I added to this. <laughs> This is pink dyed paper. Uh, this I added glitter to. Um, sticklers. A little rhinestone I added there. And don't be late. This is a folder I made. This was from a kit. Um, I forget what it was, but it's Matthew. 22, 1 through 14, and then just some journaling things and paper to journal on and stuff to add to the journal if you want. And this is vellum, and I have this butterfly in the middle here that's more journaling spot. Another a butterfly charm here, and I got uh, washi tape here. Um, die cuts I had, and this is a little tag here, tab with buttons on it. And this is a vintage postcard. I don't know what year it's from because I can't read the date, but the, the scent is probably, oh, I don't know, like 1940s maybe maybe 30s, some uh, stickler paint on here. This is a um, wax seal I made with the mushroom behind it and then I uh, put pearls around it. That's the pink dyed paper. And this is some uh, blue paper, dyed paper I made. Another little tuck spot. This is a uh, book clip I made, and this is more stuff to, to add to the journal if you want. A 
library cards, pink dyed paper I made. Some sticklers here too. Tea with uh, some embellishments here. This is a vintage um, prescription and a tag, a vintage tag. This is a little notebook. Um, did nouveau dots on the mushrooms here. And this is a wax seal I made. Mushrooms, Alice. More um, vellum paper that I printed with washi tape I put on the edge. And little collage I made here. And I added some uh, embellishments here. Turned out uh, to be very, very big. I knew when I was printing the paper that I wanted it to be big. Another little dangle I got here with the pearl on it. And I put an eyeball here. I thought that would add interest. This is a ticket that I glued here with cards on it. I folded it over and then I got a little um, wooden rose there. A clock charm. And another wax seal I made. These butterflies, I put little uh, rolled up paper under here to make them have like a 3D effect. It's always time for tea. More vellum. And then just some pages to journal on. die cut I made and this is a little spot here to hold this lace here you can add uh, Robin can add more lace to the journal if she wants and a little saying here that I liked the Duchess the Duchess oh my dear paws oh my fur and whiskers she'll get me executed sure as ferrets are ferrets the white rabbit said that in the book. And that's about the end of it. And I'm going to tie it with um, some more wallpaper. And then I put these corner protectors on there. I'm really pleased with how this came out. And this is the organza I'm going to tie it with. I, I thought that would be a nice touch to it.